How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. This time we're doing dispatch. Yeah, dispatch. <laughs> had, to, had to look for a second. But as you can tell by the title and um, the title, I'm going to tell you guys a story that I got bit in quotations by a uh, rattlesnake. And um, we're just going to get started because hopefully this story doesn't take longer than the actual video or else we're in trouble. So. I was on a hunt, a deer hunt. I go hunting every single year, and normally it's around November time, and um, which is pretty cool, or cool like as in cold, in uh, Arizona by that time. Normally, like early mornings, it's um, at sometimes freezing, uh, but most of the times around 20 degrees, and then throughout the day it stays about 60 or 50, 50 to 60s. So, anyways, I was just walking around. I just woke up from the hunt, or just woke up, ready to go hunt, and um, got my shit, got to my hunting spot, went out, and uh, just started walking around before the sun came up, and then as the sun came up, I have um, have already hiked about two or three miles away from, um, from my quad, and uh, I knew exactly where I was at. And I'm pretty familiar with the place and whatnot, but anyways, uh, so anyway, I was walking around and, uh, you know, hunted that area for about two hours, and about this time, it was probably around 9 o'clock, 9.30, maybe even 10, and I wasn't feeling very confident in that deer spot, so I wanted to try a new location. So as I did that, I started walking back, and um, walking carelessly, because I... I knew there was rattlesnakes out there, but I didn't expect it. Normally they go into like hibernation mode or whatever when it's cold and you don't ever see them. And um, so I'm just walking around carelessly and I can't remember the name of the cacti or the cactus, um, but he was sitting in there coiled up, actually headed to it. And um, I would just walking around and didn't even I didn't even hear a rattle and or nothing I was headed back to the quad and I was probably about a mile away from the quad at this time at this point and I feel like a a snap on my uh, on my boot like something like tugged on it I was like what the heck I thought maybe I had a cactus on it or rubbed up against cactus and uh, so when I looked down, it was a snake, rattlesnake, and it happened so fast. Once I felt the tug, I looked down, and then that's when the rattlesnake started, you know, rattling, doing its little defense mode, and then he coiled back up and was getting ready to strike again. So at that point, I was like, holy shit. I jumped back, and um, he didn't strike anymore after that, just the once, and um, yeah, I wasn't about to let him just strike my boot and, um, and get away with it, so I shot his ass. And I actually have him in my room. He's all uh, taxidermied up and all that good shit. So uh, I kept him. Got the rattle, obviously. And um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. I mean, I it could have been a lot worse. Luckily, I had steel toe boots. I still have the boots, and I believe the picture is on my Instagram, like far ways down. But you could find it. It's like one of my first few posts I put on the page, I believe. But um, if I can find it again, I will upload um, an update picture. But that's pretty much what happened, guys. Like, it would it probably about a four and a half foot rattlesnake, and and um, was not expecting to see one out there. So I'm glad this happened because now I can I'll open my eyes for the next time. But um, I'm not sure exactly what happens when you get bit by a rattlesnake, um, and I don't know how much time you have to react to it. But um, being a mile away from the quad, probably about eight miles away from camp, and then you know, 30 to 50 miles away from like the nearest hospital, that could have been pretty bad for me. Maybe I don't, I don't know how my body would have uh, been immune to it, or how I would have reacted to it. But um, I mean, the the point is, you just gotta, no matter what, if, you know, if it's freaking snowing out there, you gotta pay attention to your surroundings because. Something like that it could be uh, uh, life-changing or fatal, and it's not good. Not good at all. But um, I figured I'd share that story with you guys. Um, 
and hopefully you enjoy it. But uh, like I said, if you're out there, whether you're hunting, hiking, exploring, whatever you're doing, just keep it, um, keep a, a close eye on your surroundings. That's all I ask. So anyways, um, I got a couple more minutes to talk. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this uh, mission. <laughs> it's actually pre-recorded, but uh, that way it's easier to easier for me to stay focused and to what I'm saying. Um, so with that being said, I am at $1.3 million at this time. And um, so we're ready to do the final Let's Build, which is going to be awesome. And one, because I haven't completed a series in so long. And two, it was a heck of a ride. It was actually pretty fun interacting with all you guys. And obviously I'm still going to keep making videos but um it was very uh very fun it was it was exciting to see what kind of suggestions you guys have given me and uh um i gotta give a shout out to ethan dude you're the man thanks for the support that uh, that you bring to my channel um well you know honest honestly i know it's just only a few people that actually uh interact with me on my channel but uh without you i probably wouldn't continue on going so it's pretty awesome so um we are planning i'm almost level 300 um i am planning still to do the let's build on friday and that's going to be the final one and it'll be uploaded on my birthday which is saturday so it's gonna be pretty sick so if you guys did enjoy please leave a like right down below <clears throat> my instagram link is in the description as well go check it out and um Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your work week or school week. And um, as always, take care, stay tuned, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.